flowers and stuffed animals still sit here by Howell and Dover nearly two weeks after the incident. These new court documents are now giving us more insight into what happened. You really just want things to come to justice. Eric Imhoff and the rest of the crew at Milwaukee Broad House remain heartbroken about losing one of their own. Jamie Hansen, known as James, was more than a co-worker. She was part of their family. She'd be the one to ask you if you were okay before you had a chance to complain about anything. Her death still fresh as police continue to search for Manuel Salazar Gutierrez. They say on the night of Christmas Eve, Gutierrez was speeding down Howell near Dover when he struck and killed James and one of her dogs as she was walking on the sidewalk. According to the criminal complaint, surveillance cameras in the area show his Jeep SUV travel on the sidewalk for approximately 100 feet, the length of two houses and yards, knocking over a light pole in the process before leaving the scene without stopping or even slowing down. The court document reveals that police used video from county transit buses to identify Gutierrez and find his vehicle. It describes police spoke to a man who identified himself as an employer of Gutierrez, who told them they went to a liquor store that night where Gutierrez bought tequila before driving away alone in the Jeep. It also says someone saw Gutierrez near Howell and Lincoln minutes before the crash, adjusting a ladder on top of the Jeep and then speeding off on the wrong side of the road. For Eric, one thing remains clear. The driver could have made better decisions. It's just a little bit of restraint and a little bit of self-control. James would still be here. Gutierrez is described as just over six feet tall, 250 pounds with black hair, brown eyes and tattoos. If you see him, call Milwaukee police. Reporting from Bayview, Lauren Linder, today's TMJ4.